ilimito milim tulio pizza uliona nikavumilia nikanganga na si unaona kuna viji dada vinadanga utaona vikijipitisha vinatingisha utaona uambie e bana mambo vipi wananiita d class kama kawaida on this one in street bars tumepatana tena najua mliko mnauliza eh hey, classic mbona ni maboys tu maboys tu leo nimeingia kwenye kitaa hivi nikapata na mrembo fulani umrembo la na vocal ah sijui kama mnamkoridi kusikia hii inakuwaaje sawa sana wanakuita nani anji 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 unafanya kazi gani labda kwa mtu mwenye akujua jua mimi nakujua so mtu akujui pale hata wa anji anafanya kazi gani Mm, I hustle, I make cocktails and sing also. Ah, so when un ni mwimbaji. Mm. So vocals tick. Ebu 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 apigie tu, kasnipe tu kadogo tu vocals. Ebu tutikie tu. Mhm. Um, Umepata off guard. Yeah, off guard. Ah, kuna mama na off guard. Ini wi, ini wi kabla tuingie kwenye kwenye hiyo sector, nataka kujua nyinyi kama upcoming artists especially side ya madem mko na challenge gani kubwa sana yenye mna face wakati sasa mko hiyo stage ya growth sasa well mimi naweza sema ku grow ni individual mm-hmm. but also it's also hard for us ju unaweza pata umepata producer yes anataka ku produce ya music mm-hmm. and so but again kumbuka let's say au na ability ya kulipa studio ama anything kuna hiyo hiyo kuna tu watu wenye wana take advantage on that. Na si unaweza achukua pia opportunity pia. <laughs> no 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 okay let me tell you inategemea pia na standards zako you as a person. Unajidefine aje kwa artist na dating a producer is in the right thing. I don't think kama unaweza mix pleasure na talent na you know. Kazi. Yeah. Anasema ile wanakula stock pia ma producer. Mm-hmm. Na haiezi haiezi waki hivyo. If you have a big dream then you have to go for it as a person, individual person. Oh, you know. Na iwe ishai kuhapenia ama ina hapenia tu watu wako close na has it ever happened kwako? Mm, yeah, but I don't prefer talking about it. Oh, so eh hey, na ma producer pia nyinyi mnaharibu. Mnataka kula stock producer. Lakini <laughs> ni sawa. So hiyo ni moja kati ya zile challenge ambazo mnapatana za ma producer. Yeah. Kuna challenge nyingine mnapatana nayo? Ah, challenges to say to Ah, mimi nasema patia link. Mm-hmm. For example, uko na YouTube channel, uh-huh. uko na any other campaigns going on for the talent audition, and then unatumia link kwa groups na people just know be people don't click. Watu wana snob, watu wana snob by the links. So so it's it's very hard for uh, like an artist to to make it out there eh? okay. kama again if you ain't supportive, you know. But again we imagine sasa kama utakataa ku click, mwingine pia akatai ku click and then we lose it all that means growth in akwa small sana yeah very very small na hiyo bado ni challenge bado mm ushajaribu kutafuta mse yako pale juu labda kusaidia alafu akakulisha bluti <laughs> yeah. ushajaribu ku slide kwa dm <laughs> unaweza mtaja hapana mm. <laughs> 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 deal na yeye tukishamake it <laughs> sasa hebu tuambie ilikuwaaje mm. no I, i actually la- love her songs Yeah, I love her vocals and oh, so ni dem. Yeah, ni dem. Oh, so yeah. I love the courage. <laughs> so I was like, fuck, <laughs> acha tu. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so I was like, fuck, let me just try and see kama maybe ata come through to make two collab moja hivi. Oh. Off guard ata kama ni Snapchat, nothing official, you know. But again, imagine she just read my text and she, she still goes on and I'm like it's okay I'll just give up by the way. Hmm. Na si labda alikuwa busy too hivi. Haina shida, nimeniingia mara kadhaa na ameni boutique bado haina shida tutapatana. So mimi slide kwa DM alafu anapoteza hizo story. Mm, kabisa. Haya na mko na haya ya. So apart from hizo mbili, kuna instance nyingine ambayo ushai kupata alafu ni kama ikakukatoff hivi. Maybe tuseme maybe ukaenda place Watu kambi watu wewe ni mwimbaji alafu fan uko tu eh hey, wewe kwenda hujui kuimba nini kitu kama yeshai kuwapenia no 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 that's all so hizi hizi stories zingine uko sawa lakini like kitu kama ishai ku cut off ama ushai ka tu hivi insta sikakuwapenia ukasikia ni kama uta quit music mm me si jeep career like doing music as a career uh-huh. as per se for me na, na enjoy to kufanya muziki unaona like oh, ile ya kujiachia chia ya kujiachia chia because again as a career unaangalia pia country uh, yeah 
in Kenya it's a bit challenging wewe zifanya music ikiwa tu career peke yake you have to hustle and you have to have the music as a career yes ile ile unaulizo unafanya kazi gani mimi ni mwanamuziki alafu apart from music ama business ama ama woman and then najua music ya Kenya pia ni ina, inaenda na trends unaona unaweza pata genge to ni make to rise i next ni song nyingine next ni class nyingine unaona people are being creative out there so yeah so watu wanakuwa creative design hata watu wengine wanashuka unashangaa ah nitaingia na njia gani nitaingia kwa so, genre gani let's say umetrona dream ukiwa mdogo we Okay, si tumekuwa na Chad na kina Beyonce, unaona? Mm. Umegrow kijua Beyonce, Rihanna, bla bla bla. Mm. So you came to love the music. And then ukakuja kidogo ukaingia nyimbo za Kenya kiasi kiasi kinyo. Hata kina Wamanyaru na kadhalika. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love so right now we are we are here to go up maybe at our mid 20s. Mm. Unapata vijana wengine wameshakuja na language nyingine, unaona? Mm. So to make music in Kenya ni lazima ufanye kitu yenye na trend, you know. So so una, na, na we, do you believe in kiki umesema to make to make it in Kenya lazima kuja na kitu ina stu stu watu hivi watu waelewi kama zingine recommend anafanyaga do you believe in how watu wanapiga kiki how chasing clouds mm. yeah i know i know people out there chasing so many clouds i don't know why but hiyo ni yao hiyo ni agreement tu yake mwenye aki decide kuchezi sawa <laughs> ile mpaka mnapanga na bibi mama aseme oh au shughuliki mtoto yeah people, people people are like ready to do everything for for fame you know they don't care mtu atake haribu image yake hajali anajua tu bora ke tu people know me as one so that's nice for them you know si sengine we don't believe in fame actually i hate being famous for kwa nini na si muimbaje si lazima ukwe pale lazima ukwe pale but for me i have got big dreams let's say training other artists i want to make something good i want to nature someone i want to make the talent grow you know okay yeah and hapo uh, kwa nurturing the talents unajua tumeona watu wanajaribu kunecha talents then is in africa place wenye wamekuwa natured wanawapotea How do you believe in mwenye uta nature hata kuja kukupotea? Like yeah. mwenye umeshika mkono hata kuja kuku kuku disappoint. Acha sana kwambie mm. every human is an investment. Every man is an investment, every girl is an investment. So no matter mwenye unasaidia hata kama atakuja let's say kusahau ama atakuja ku forget what you did for them. Mm. You still invested in someone, you know ata kukumbuka that you had a role you mm. played a role in his life ama her life you know mm-hmm. so hata kama atenda kwingine maybe atasaidika pia poa ni sawa nurturing someone's talent ama nurturing someone's growth ni ina, inafaa kutoka kwa roho okay. you, you must be passion about it you know okay. yeah ile ile unaamua sasa acha nisaidie huyu haijalishi whatever whatever will happen up, up afterwards but the fact remains ni mimi nimemsaidia growth yake ime ame learn from mimi yeah kabisa And uh, hapo tu kwa growth bado. Tumojo tumekuwa tukiona watu wanakuwa natured then wakifika pale juu wanaanza kutusia wengine sasa wenye wameshikilia mkono. Kama zile instances fulani ziko Tanzania unapata msanii ndio amekuwa natured na msanii fulani alafu akifika pale juu anajiona sasa ni mkubwa. Unaweza ambia aje wasanii wenye wanakuwa ama wenye wanakuwa aspiring cause nimesikia huko na big dreams za kujenga wasanii wengine. So msanii naye ala wasanii unajua hapa kuna upcoming artists wengi sana wenye wana plan na wana aspire kukuwa kama wasanii wa big then wakishashi kwa mkono wanapotea ama wakifika pale juu wanaanza kuringa unaweza waambia aje well uh, for those who are being nurtured in a depend pia na um say ame grow kwa society gani kama ni society ya ku give back the guy will be also help like really really available to give back you know but kani mtu tu anataka tu kujibamba eh, for his own personal nini benefits then itakuwa hard kwa wasanii wengine pia kusaidiwa unaona kwa sababu tuseme mtu mmoja wa kwanza amejitolea kusaidia alafu aone hujamregeshia shukrani ama hujaregeshia shukrani kwa society mm. the person also changes the mind eh? mm. next time pia ataangalia mara mbili mbili eh hey, nimecha mani acha you know acha tu people don't want to risk their money out there people don't want to risk their time and investments too yeah, and investments too so, unaona Mm. Ende hapa nje bado kuna kama sasa kulikuwa na shida ya mashows unapata wale wasani map coming wanasema tupewe shows according to you do you believe in ni vile you are not putting in work ama ni vile hamna platform so investor anakuja anaangalia nikileta huu msanii nita gain in from him or her okay show out yeah. there ziko mingi sana actually uh-huh. but watu yeah. they don't you know 
hawataki ku, ku adventure outside the box they just want to listen to maybe washazoya the east african got talent mm. taska project fame you know hizi shows na kuaga na zina kuangana links to forty to forty inategemea unakana kina nani unajihusisha na kina nani you know what mm. are you gaining from the people around are you searching for more show nini platforms kama sasa hivi tuko na the ongoing uh, campaigns that um, take back the music mm. and that's i think that that's a great thing for okay. people to try out there you know you try no matter what unajaribu any other link yenye nakufikisha kwa hiyo skill yako na bado kama. na bado mnakolisha mabluti kumkitu mama links si ndio haina shida shazo ya ni risk it's about risking speaking of risking eh ushejaribu ku risk like ukaamua acha sasa uinge studio piga ma vocals sama ushejaribu ku risk na hizo ma talent shows ma talent search ushei risk ukasema acha niingie hii moja nione kama itaenda through yeah yeah ni shawa iri alafu ikaenda aje <laughs> I was in form 2 uh-huh. and uh, I don't know Miss G if I had the bigger dream than me so I went to the auditions it was night for BD Got Talents uh-huh. and zilikuwa na wasani wakubwa wakubwa kama judges kulikuwa na mtu um, nani um hmm, nyosha ndogo uh-huh. ule wa kuna watu yeah. na viatu yeah Hey. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so uh-huh. nyota ndogo I really really I don't know mean I think nearly freak out. I didn't have the money to register for the audition so someone came paid for me and then when I just got in I saw nyota ndogo and they freaked out and the voice I could talk trust me. <laughs> I I I was just holding the mic and then I started crying and they went out I walked out I never went back. I swear kutoka hiyo time nilisema sitawai ever ever. Let me just take From that time. T- from that time sasa. Yeah, let me take my time grow myself like ni grow to self is in yangu chini ya maji hivyo you know okay kukua vocalist what has it changed ni new yenye uliona kabla ujue kama uko na talent and afterwards sasa after umejua sasa uko talented sasa na vocals nini imebadilika kama kukua na vocals imebadilisha nini ni ya life oh god uh mimi nasema nga vocals zinanisaidia nga tu ku express my feelings you know so even if i'm alone i'm a I just feel bored. I feel like ni me give up na life kabisa. Sasa ingine na konga depressed most of the times. But hakuna hakuna mtu wa kumaliza ma stress na nini na. Ah, no. No. Kwa sababu mjini umepigwa character development. Si amini mtu kwa sasa. Ah, si you hapo wazuri? Hakuna wazuri. Wasikudanganye. Sisi tupo, sisi tupo basi. Pengine to risk lakini So Eh, vocal sasa ndo zimekubadilisha hivyo sasa like yeah, ile time uko stress yeah, zimenipia confidence na i guess zimenipia to a lot of hopes so when wale watu mwenye wanasemanga wakati uko na stress unapiga ma vocal zako safi mm. unajua kuna watu different sana mm. wengine eh wengine hapa wakipata stress hapa wanaenda kujiachiachia nini sasa wewe ukiwa stress sasa ndo unapiga kila kitu sasa unapiga vocal sasa unaamua sasa acha kaende kaende side ya vocals. Mm. Na, na stress inapungua kabisa. Eh, zinashuka. Mbona mbona niende kwa mtu anipunguze stress na ataniongezea? Ah, sasa yeye anakutuliza. Eh, yeah, acha ngombe stress ni kama waves eh, zinakuwa attracted. So if you are stressed and I stay with you nitakuwa too stressed. I'll carry part of your stresses. Eh, in your music career, mm-hmm. which has been the worst moment in your music career like mpaka una regret. Mbona ni ushaifika place uka regret. Mbona mbona naimba? Like kitu ishai kuwapenia mpaka una regret. Mbona hiki kitu kama imenihapenia? Well, for me mi mi nasema in my music. Mm. Acha tuniseme music journey is juicy music career. I'm not like doing it as a career okay. in my music journey. Okay. Um I don't think hakuna kitu ishai happen ni regret, you know. I don't think so. I don't no matter the challenges by the way. So vitu zimekuwa swambamba, so doctor. Yeah, so doctor bad fear. Like all is equal leveled. Yeah, ziko too leveled, you know. Okay. Kuna challenges hapa na pale but again, hizo lazima zikuepo. And, and uh, kuna ojo kuna watu different sana when it comes to writing. See, I think we ni good writer pia. Yeah, I'm a good writer but sasa sisi sema mimi na write bongo ama na write. Like ukiandika sasa lyrics zako, what inspires you kuandika? Ojo kuna mwingine anakaga tu hivi akiwa ma vitu zake anaandika mwingine anakaa tu hivi labda ameimba kitu imemwapenia labda aliacha na demo yake ama boys wake anaingia studio anaandika mwingine maybe ni instance iliyapenia beshte yake what inspires you kuandika mimi ni moja 
depends with the mood that I'm in. That's why I said that in and said yanga ko express my feelings. So it depends with the mood. So kuna time ushaika hivi ukasikia uko desperate sana ukasema acha niandike song ya kuvunja watu roho ama ukaka hivi ukasikia ah akina feel kupendana uko hapa ya vocals za kupendana za mapenzi mapenzi hivyo. Yeah, ni shawais. I think I did I did something like just something sexy but nili perform one by then i am a mama nili jitetea aje nili perform one back then because i didn't i wasn't thinking so much but yeah and uh, speaking of kukua hiyo sexy kuna kuna hiki tu imekuwa iki happen unapata wasanii wanaishi life nyingine different sana na yenye sisi tunajua maybe wana fake vitu okay inside of yanguo ni kitu ya kawaida but unapata kuna wazazi fulani hawaelewi wanaona eh hey, akia nani msichana umepotea njia hiyo nguo umevaa imepotea njia mm. siji kama kitu kama hiyo shaiku hapenia kwa sababu ukiangalia sahi sasa kitu ndo isee lazima uko attractive kinda uh, yes sasa mean tasema like ina depend pia na society uh-huh. where i come from sisi tumekuwa na waislamu i was once a muslim and hiyo kitu ile ni affect and growing up knowing just una vatu baggy clothes no any other zine, thing you're not zine. growing any mimi mimi mi nilikuwa naona ina inanifanya ni sifikiria outside the box uko tu kwa society about kwa jamii yani una vatu mitandio buibui madera <laughs> nothing else you're not growing you know you'd rather like for me 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 think kuva ni how confident you are like uko na confident kiasi gani if so, you feel uh, good by the if you feel good working with a pantina bra that's nice okay no one will judge you no one kabisa that's you it's all about what you feel if you feel good kuva dela na any other thing that's nice eh ile unapigwa na upepo tu ina si ndio ni sawa kama uko na gwede gwede zinapigika ni sawa kama zipigiki kiachana na sasa na sasa si mnasumbua vijana pale town okay mimi nasema kuva ni uvae utasheke na pia unaangalia second party na third party are you offending the second party are you offending the third party you know lazima uangalie in those standards Unajua anasema internet never forget. Sasa wanauliza. Sasa ukivaa vibaya sahii alafu watoto pale wakifika wakikuwa kubwa kubwa alafu wapate eh hey, madhi alikuwa anajiachia. Well, it's not your like it's your fault. It's not your hata si si fault nitasema aje mm. si shida yako kuelezea watoto wako. You lived your life eh. Wewe oh, hiyo enzi sasa. Tia wewe ndo unajua chini umepitia wewe ndo unajua kwa nini uko na vibe and you know why you are doing it. <laughs> you don't have to explain to some other bullshit let's say five kids mwenye atakuja. Unamwambia unamwambia. Mbona uko na vibe no? Let me now ask you. For example, mseka Beyoncé na mtoi wake. Imagine Beyoncé kange kwa vibe hizo vitu. The kid would be like, "Eh, hey, mamangu ni ni angel. She's gonna you know but the, the, the mother is like, "Awe, mimi ni mimi. This is me." This is me kabisa you judge me but again nilikuwa naishi hivi before you even came in my life you know uh-huh. you are the mother you are the parent you guide them Nimesikia umezungumzia kuhusu dini sasa iwe ni Muislamu ama ni Mkristo Ah kama inavyoonekana mimi ni Mkristo So uli uli, uli badilisha uh-huh. How was it when you are transitioning from Islam to Christianity because najua kuna process like paka from the background kuna watu labda wanasema eh nini nini najua then unajua by the issue ya dini na kuaga complicated sana mm-hmm. kuna watu wanaona ni kama umekosea watu hisi dingine wanaona ni kosawa mm-hmm. how was that transition well uh, in the first place naweza sema i i i was the first one kwa family yangu ku transit they like kabisa mm-hmm. my dad is a muslim my mom is a muslim my brothers my sisters all of them but again i i just it happened it happened okay Mm-hmm. and i had supportive people who were in christianity who also opened my eyes me ni me grow kwa society na shosh a lot of the time so my grandma was also a christian she taught me morals she taught me stories you know okay. and i really loved them so hizo ndo vitu zinaniaka hadi hapa yeah so huyo ndo ameku nature sasa yeah so i can just basically say see at i'm judging the muslims or what can basically say christianity ndo me ni grow you know Christianity in the mini funza morals Christianity in the mini onesha all the things that I need to know nimekuwa form 4 nimesoma biblia yote I know the the many things that I know you know because I know God and exists so no when you are growing up ulikuwa mtoto wa kudekeza unajua watoto wenye melewa na mashoshi hawaguzangwi hawezi chapwa kwani ulikuwa unachama unajua mashoshi wanakwaga wametuliwa me relax ni okay mimi ni rebellious Shosho ama shosho shosho mini rebellious sisi ni wale watoto watuambii yani hardcore tu ule hardcore kitambo kutoka kitambo yeah kutoka kitambo so zile viboko nimepigwa they enough i think yeah 
So wali walipita na wewe mbaya sana. Sana. Nadhani ungekuwa na 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 tabia ukiwa hivi kasi ingechapwa singelikuwa hapa sasa hizo ya. Ni sense gani yenye unakumbuka? Ulichapwa mpaka ukaona. Unaona unajua kuna time mtu alikuwa anachapwa mpaka unasema nimeenda kujiua. <laughs> Sio kama Aisha iko hapa nia kitu kama hiyo. Ni sense gani yenye unaweza kumbuka? Nyanyangu akikupiga umombe unaenda kujiua na kuletea kamba na panga. You choose your. Nakwambia aenda sasa. Yeah, go. Just go. You want to kill yourself? Go. You know. Ushe chapo hadi wewe unaona yenyewe hapa uwezi reform zaidi hapo. Eh ile tulikuwa tunawaambia aki mimi nimeenda kujiua anakuletea sasa. I know style kwa anga hivyo. So pia ishe kutokea hivyo. Ah kila mtu we Africans bana. Kuna mtu anaheshimisha kizungu no. <laughs> so unasema huku dekezo hiyo time ulikuwa mdogo. Hai. I don't think so. <laughs> so tuki wrap up kuna segment fulani tutaitaga tano za kijanja ama tano kali. So hapa tunauliza maswali tano ambazo kinda complicated hivi. Sasa tutataka kujua kama wewe utapita nazo ama kuna zenye utaanguka. Sasa tutataka kwanza utuambie jina yako ya kwanza ya kizungu. Uh, si my first name si ya kizungu ni uh-huh. it's an arabic name. Okay. So Pierre. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pierre. Pierre. Tadie. Atie. Yeah. Aya. So si unaweza spell from A to letter ya mwisho ni ni e. H. Yeah. Aya. Sasa from A to H. Sasa tunataka uifanye reverse. From H uh-huh. to A. Okay. Na usiku una stama stama tunene ile tu. Par. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ni atie, si ndio? Mm-hmm. Sasa from H to A. Okay. H E I H T A. Yuu sha pita ni sawa tu lakini kuna vyenye tu. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Aya, ukiamka asubuhi mm-hmm. ujipate when boy. Ni kitu gani unaweza badilisha kwa mwili yako? Kitu kubadilisha kama like umeamka asubuhi tu kajipata eh mimi ni boy. Ni, ni part gani ya mwili yako unaweza badilisha? Mimi naweza kaba except no refu. Da, ni sawa. Ni sawa. Sasa swali Swali ya tatu. Kuna jamaa fulani ako na biceps lakini hana pesa. Alafu kuna mwingine ako na pesa. Eh, nimesema wa kwanza ako na biceps na hana pesa. Mwingine ako na pesa na hana biceps. Utatoka na nani? What benefits me? Trust me. Pesa. Watu wawili. <laughs> Unachukua double. Watu wawili. Watoka na double double. <laughs> Watu wawili. Hata nikwambie. Mi mimi niko na experience like ni shade to me. He had nothing. We grew up together. Uh, my mom was supportive and I was very very ready. I even proposed. I remember I guess that's the shitty thing. Nilisema staifanya. Dema fai kukupropozea mwanamke. Si mapenzi. Si mapenzi. Jikosee shima but si why. Ingia hata phone hapa mama but so you see why propose mwanamke I swear to God. Lakini hiyo time ulikuwa umechezeka na mapenzi. Yeah, I was very very young and in love. Eh hey, and then little did I know. Ujama bana mikuwa kidet chini ya maji de mwingine and uh, si tumede twani ya huyo dem alikuja akaenda bara for one year so when ah. alirudi take over and he left me by the way he left me and i'm proud to say that aliniacha akiwa na pesa hakuniacha <laughs> 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 akiwa akiwa hana aliniacha akiwa na pesa and that really hurts me but yeye dishapita you know we get over that come on pesa ni yako yenye unatafuta usingojea mwanamume <laughs> still on that dating mode mm-hmm. hapa kuna kijana mmoja amesota hana ka kitu hana like lakini akona mapenzi. Alafu kuna mzee fulani akona pesa. Mzee tu akona pesa. Utatoka na nani? Ila kijana amesota lakini ana mapenzi. Alafu kuna mzee akona pesa lakini ana mapenzi kwa chini. Okay, mimi niko na mandugu pia eh. na si ati we, we came from rich families ama bla bla bla. So mimi na kuanga fala. Obviously tunda fall in love. But on the process tutaendea pesa <laughs> tutaendea pesa on the process tukule na yeye you know <laughs> it's either so in the process yet, yeah. so mtakaa chini mzungumzie msamee yeah, niombe tu to, to relax to hustle sawa <laughs> na hustle hapa we have to make it ini imekuwa akikuacha atakuacha tu hivyo you know atakuacha tu kio bro <laughs> so hata mkiachana mkiachana utaachana utaachwa ukiwa bado broke mm. lakini sasa atakuwa ready ashakupatia mapenzi ai mapenzi kwani mwala mapenzi wewe utakula mapenzi tuanzie tu hapo ah sasa mapenzi sasa mtakuwa mnatulizana tu food inakuja baadaye ah utakunywa uji kama alikuwa <laughs> sana ni ule <laughs> there's a certain book eh uh, tulikuwa tunasoma high school yeah kuna yule kijana alikuwa anakunywa chuji akingoja demu yake akuje so me i don't know i don't know hey tukunywa uji unless niko na ball nitakunywa uji lakini 
I think yeah. Swali ya mwisho nikimaliza. <laughs> Unaweza enda kwa mkanga sababu ya mapenzi? Eh, I swear to God if you had break me na kuroga. Hata mm. acha nimalize. Imekuwa kubwa. <laughs> Hii ni street buzz eh. Okay. Kabla tumaliza acha kwanza tupikiwe vocals. <laughs> Kabla tumalize by the way. Acha tusikie vocals acha tusikie. Hapo na yeye pia akwatambia. Mm. Atwende nalo basi. Mm. <laughs> Ile mito milim tulio pita uliona nikavumilia nikangana na si unaona kuna viji dada vinadanga utaona vikijipitisha vinatingisha utaona uambie siongezi neno nishaweka nukta wajue nilitulia siku kurupuka uambie umenibana sitofuruku tamie nipeleke vyo vyote mwendo wa guta da mimi hata nashanga eh hiyo sauti ah kumbe yani kuna vocals yani kumbe hapa nje kuna watu wabaya hivyo Eh. Hey, <laughs> kwa nyinyi mitandao wanakupata wapi kwenye social media platform zako? Uh, okay. Uh, IG na Jita just me Angie. Um, Facebook I love Zen up. Um, hmm. Obvi kengine. Twitter Afie Juma, TikTok just me Angie. Tinder. Tinder no. Ah, <laughs> siko Tinder. <laughs> YouTube nayo anakupata aje? Uh, Angie Neara imekuwa tutaweka link yako hapo chini. So imekuwa kubwa manze eh, umesikia from the baddest vocalist. Si unaweza uh, freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> so imekuwa kubwa manze eh, imekuwa lead, umesikia from her vocalist. Umesikia mpaka vile sauti inatembea hapo mpaka kazuba zuba hivyo. Anyway, hii ni street buzz kama kawaida unaniita D Classic Fimbas Radio YouTube, D Classic Instagram, Twitter na Facebook. On to the next one.